Okay, here I am at the uh, main courtyard at the University of Notre Dame in Indiana. And if you can imagine yourself living many years ago, um, and this courtyard being full of priests and sisters of the Holy Cross congregation, um, I'm standing in front of the main building right now. And you can see Our Lady there in gold at the top. I'll zoom in. And uh, as I pan this way, you can see the Sacred Heart Basilica. There's the top of it. And I cannot go into the church because there's a wedding going on. Otherwise, I'd show you the stained glass windows. But um, I think that I can go into the main building, so my next stop will be there. Uh, here's a statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, a flower path going to it, and you can see the Sacred Heart down there. Okay, here is uh, Queen Isabella of Spain, and then I'll turn over here, and we see Columbus the Explorer. Okay, here is uh, Columbus at the gate of the convent of La Rabida. I don't really know the story behind it. Here we have uh, Columbus sighting land on Friday, October 12, 1492. Okay, uh, here we have Columbus coming ashore and erecting the Holy Cross to show the Native Americans the Gospel. Okay, here is Columbus with Father Perez and he is being blessed before he embarks on his voyage to the New World. This is a mutiny at sea. Here is Columbus being received at the Royal Court in Spain upon the return from the American continent. You can see he brought with him some uh, Native Americans there with their uh, Native costumes on. And there is a uh, depiction of uh, the King and Queen, looks like a Dominican and a bishop and a Franciscan and maybe a cardinal there and some uh, Spanish warriors and some, some ladies and some slaves. Okay, this is called Bobadilla Betrays Columbus and uh, you can see him there in chains and there are his detractors. Okay, here is the death of Columbus. Um, he is being assisted by a group of Franciscan priests. One of them is giving him the last rites. This is uh, Father Diego Deza, protector of Columbus at Salamanca, Dominican friar there, friar preacher. Okay, here is a Luis de Santangel, the treasurer of Aragon. Okay, this is the rosary crown. It's a very enormous. Um, I don't have time to read the whole story behind it, but as you can see, it has depictions of the mysteries of the rosary on it. I'll kind of circle the glass case here. You can see the mysteries of the rosary. I'm kind of circling this display here. Hopefully you can see them through it through the glass pane. I think it was designed to hang over a statue of Our Lady somewhere on campus, I think. I'm backing up. It's really an enormous crown. Okay, hopefully I can get away with this. I'm actually lying on my back staring up into the Golden Dome and you can see the uh, mural there 
Unfortunately, I'm upside down. Let me turn around this way. There we go. Should have planned that one better, but there it is. Okay, I'm actually exploring these floors for the first time, so we're discovering this together in the main building here, the uh, Golden Dome building. And this is uh, Father Edward Soren of the Congregation of the Holy Cross, the founder and first president of the university here. And uh, I actually um, have a picture of him uh, or his, <laughs> his grave site. Maybe I'll include that. Uh, this is Father Corb William Corby, one of the other Holy Cross priests um, and also a president of the university. Um, I've also taken a photo of his gravestone uh, as well. Uh, he is well known for um, serving the Union forces uh, during the Battle of Gettysburg as the chaplain before the troops went into battle. So, uh, yeah. this is Father Stephen Theodore Baden, the first Catholic priest ordained in the United States of America. Now, I'm not sure if that means um, the first priest ordained in the continent ever, or if that means the first priest ordained in the, country, the new country known as the United States of America. I'm not sure about that. But um, he uh, worked right here on, on these grounds in Indiana, the, the, fu the future state of Indiana, I guess. Okay, I'm looking over the balcony here at the main building at Notre Dame, and as you can see, it has um, kind of an ornate structure. You can see the different um, highlights there, the sciences, and then you have the, the symbols of the Catholic Church as the queen of sciences. There you see the bishops Miter, and then over here we have uh, music. And finally, this is the one that I was standing under when I filmed the other ones. This is the uh, triple tiara, the symbol of the Roman Catholic papacy and the primacy of St. Peter. Uh, here is a slightly better view of the spire of the basilica against the sky and if you can just imagine what this place was like 60 years ago and everything was a lot different. And there's the Golden Dome.